Reggie's heading an hour's drive west to the port of Dick's Cove, where his great-great-grandmother Sarah was from. He's hoping to learn more about her and how her relationship with Mr. Lloyd may have come about. Elders from Sarah's extended family live here. Hello. We are heading towards the head of the family's place. Si. Hello. Yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> Nana Kojo Mensa is the head of the family. Madame Ekuba knew Reggie's great grandmother, Dorothy, and has heard stories of Sarah. Shall we see it? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, thank you so much for, uh, for, for finding time to meet us. So, you know, you know my dad, you know, you, you, you've, you've met Jojo. Oh, yeah. you know? Mr. Dejo, <laughs> when, when they call your father music man. <laughs> music man, yeah. Yeah, he plays music. Yeah, he's a musician. Ego. Amen. Ego. Amen. 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 My mouth is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it seems like you remember a lot about the family. Oh, you seem very happy to see them. Thank you for, for point libation. I appreciate it. And thank you for having us in the house. We've come here because I'm trying to find out as much as I can about my family. I've got to a lady called Dorothy, who is my great grandmother. How about her mother? How about um, Sarah, my great great? Oh, Grandmother, okay. I was hoping that you might be able to tell me a bit about okay. Sarah. Hey, what's the problem now? Or one or one? You could man or ye. You have a good deal, could too. Okay, I said, no, it's a problem. Hey, the more kids you wanna, she also saw in some manner or don't tell me your man. So, uh, Sarah was a trader, she worked she was in, a in trader. trading. Yeah. Yeah. Was she the first person mm -hmm. in my line mm -hmm. that mixed? Sarah, typical African Ghanaian. And her father was with a Ghanaian man. Sarah, he doesn't have any no mixing her mixing family. What was Sarah's surname? Sarah Aku. The father's name is uh, the father's name is Akun, so she, uh, she was named Sarah Akun. Right. So she was the first person that mixed first the person, English, yes. and then yeah, and that's why Dorothy she, was so light. That is right. She was the first person to meet the white person, so that that is why you are fair. <laughs> okay. Do they know much about the man that she married, Lloyd, uh, Englishman? Yeah. <laughs> She yeah. started the business yeah. before she Mr. Lloyd. Lloyd. Uh, Sarah was doing her own business before meeting Lloyd. Maybe Lloyd wanted to buy some pineapples or something <laughs> like that. And they, they become friends and maybe they had that. Yeah. A baby girl with uh, Sarah. Mm. When Lloyd came and met Sarah, did you hear about a customary marriage? I know. The man not to tell I said, no, what in Those days there wasn't any Lloyd, he comes there and go. Mm. Comes there. Come backwards and forwards. Yeah. So they were together to create a child, but they weren't together in a relationship. He didn't stay. He no. left. Yeah, he left. Do they know if, if Dorothy was really similar to Sarah? Was she like her mother? <laughs> okay, okay. They look like. Yeah. Yeah, they look alike. Only Dorothy is more fair than the mother. So Dorothy and Sarah, yeah. they were close, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, the mother and the daughter were together. 
Mm. So they were very, very close. Yeah. So, so they were like mother and daughter and business and partners. Teachers, business partners. Yes. <laughs> okay. So they were they were really they, close. They were, they were they were really close. She was the only daughter to her. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the only daughter. So just like a, a steel and a, a metal, you know. So they are like always this. together. <laughs> Very close. Okay. Okay. Well, that may well based on the closeness of Dorothy and Sarah, that would make sense that yeah. he wasn't there, yeah. and that it was Sarah raising Dorothy. Thank you so much. I'm not a drinker. I never have been. But that schnapps done off burn your mouth. Jeez. <laughs> Seriously, I think I think my chest is still warm now, and it definitely isn't the sun. Um, but beyond getting a teeny bit of alcohol, um, I'm pretty sure I was sober enough to understand that my great-great-grandmother, Sarah, and uh, Mr. Lloyd were a couple. But I don't think that Mr. Lloyd was a part of Sarah or Dorothy's life, unfortunately. He essentially traded in more ways than one with, uh, with Sarah. And um, my great-grandmother was a product of that. But what came from that? was an amazing relationship between mother and daughter and it produced two very strong women. It's an amazing feeling to know exactly where that European bit of my lineage began. Um, my great-great-grandmother Sarah was the first person to mix with a European and it seems to be a recurring theme throughout the generations and it really does explain this. <laughs> it explains this and I've sort of known, but I've never really known. And it's a, it's a great feeling to know for sure today. Coming out here on this trip has made me feel connected definitely to, to my father more, without a doubt. My father's side is mixed as far back as we can trace. And that mix, I think, has lent to the feeling of resilience and um, I wouldn't say abandonment, but I would say that there has been abandonment. Mr. Lloyd and my great-grandfather, George William Yates, left. But my grandfather, Harry, stayed and looked after his children, all 16 of them. He was there for them. Harry seems to have been an amazing man that I wish I'd known or at least met. But in the UK, myself and my siblings and my cousins have over the last few years made an effort to get together and to build relationships and build bridges. And it's starting to feel more and more that we are a family. I feel like I'm part of something and being here and learning about our history has made that even more real. <laughs>